Hello everyone, this is Mustafa from Skills Build Training. Today I'm going to highlight 20 most common computer problems with solutions. So keep watching the video till the end. Maybe you get the solution to a problem you are encountering. Problem number one, your system gets low. The most common problem we experience that our system is slowed down. We keep on refreshing the computer, either pressing F5 key or clicking refresh on right click menu. To be honest, it won't get you anywhere near the solution. We need to understand that why this is happening. Over the time we install new softwares and new files, the system becomes full. So the solution you need is to clean the drive by deleting and uninstalling the unwanted softwares. In the control panel, open the programs and uninstall the unwanted softwares. It will leave some space to make the room for the processor to work efficiently. The other possibility is that system drive C is full. C drive needs to have more space to make the software work efficiently as it saves temporary files which are required for the working. Over the time, these temporary files and the files in recycle bin takes up the space. So we need to clean the drive. You can open up the properties of C drive and click the disk cleanup. Check all the boxes and press OK. Normally, there are some applications which start running on the startup. So you can check if there is any unwanted application is running in the background. For that, you need to open up the task manager and in the startup tab, you can see different applications running. Leave the system applications running and disable all the other applications. So hopefully this will resolve this problem. Problem number two. Softwares run slow. You notice sometimes that the softwares you are using are becoming slower and slower over the time. There are two possible reasons for this problem. Either you are low on processing power or you are having lower memory. Low processing power means that your processor is not providing enough resources to the softwares to run properly. Low memory means that you are not having enough volatile memory that is RAM. So in that scenario, you need to upgrade the system with the processor and RAM. I have mentioned the table in which you can see that there are different processors arranged according to the usage along with the clock speed. Ryzen are AMD processors. i-series processors are for Intel. Ryzen 3 and i3 are both available for normal usage. Ryzen 5 and i5 are available for gaming purposes and other low-level graphics applications. i7 and Ryzen 7 are both available for graphical processing and editing videos. Whereas i9 and Ryzen 9 are available for high-end usage and recently i11 processor has been launched in the market to give a better user experience. You can upgrade your processor according to this table. Problem number 3. Hanging off system. Sometimes while using the system, your system gets hang in the middle of something. This is very annoying and frustrating. Sometimes computer hang because of a virus and for that you should have an updated and licensed antivirus software. There can be faulty SMPS. SMPS stands for Switched Mode Power Supply that deliver the power as per your requirements. If the SMPS is faulty, it should be replaced at once otherwise excess power may cause serious damage. Also, there are cooling fans in our system which provide ventilation for the components on the motherboard to work effectively and continuously. If system gets hang often, it can be a sign that cooling system is not providing enough cooling. So cooling fans needs to be replaced and you need to turn on automatic update and keep your operating system updated as the updates include the fixes of different bugs in operating system. Problem number four, blue screen. While using your computer, suddenly a blue screen pop-ups and it shut down your windows. This error is caused by mainly two problems. First one, blue screen shows memory error or memory dump problem. Second, blue screen shows an error code and a hardware driver problem. For the memory problem, you need to detach RAM and reinsert it, then restart your computer. If still the problem persists, then change the RAM. It will solve the memory problem. For a blue screen with an error on it, you need to copy that code and search it online. The online forms will surely provide you solutions on the specific error code. Problem number 5. Boot error. When you boot the system, it runs into an error and shuts down. 
upon restarting it displays a boot error. So you can either use a recovery mode to repair the windows or you can enter safe mode to undo the last changes you did on your system. If still the problem persists and system does not boot properly, you can reset your PC by entering into troubleshoot by pressing F8 as soon as you boot the windows. Problem number 6. Internet is not working. The internet is not working on your PC. If you are using Wi-Fi connection, you can restart your modem. You can check the drivers of Wi-Fi adapter of your PC by opening the device manager from the control panel. If there is a yellow sign on network adapter, it means there is a problem with your network adapter. If LAN is not working fine and Wi-Fi is not working, you need to update the driver and restart your PC. You can solve it either by updating the driver or fixing the adapter by getting it fixed from a technician or replace it. If everything is working fine at your end, then the problem is with your network connection. You need to contact your network service provider. Hopefully it will fix the problem. Problem number 7. Hard drive failure. For some reason, if your hard drive crashes, then you would need to install a new hard drive and an operating system, otherwise your PC won't work. You need to regularly backup your files on a cloud storage or an external drive so that you don't lose your data due to a hard drive failure. Problem number 8. Computer won't turn on. If your computer won't turn on, it can be a frustrating issue. But luckily, there are several steps you can take to diagnose and potentially fix the problem. Number 1. Ensure that your computer is properly plugged into a working power outlet. Number 2. Ensure the power cable is securely connected to both the computer and the power source. Number 3. You need to make sure that the power button on your computer is not stuck or damaged. Press it firmly to make sure that it's making proper contact. Number 4. Hard reset your computer. If your computer is a laptop, disconnect it from the charger and remove the laptop's battery. Then press and hold the power button for about 15 to 20 seconds. This will discharge any residual power. Number 5. For desktop computers, unplug it from the power source. Wait a minute or two, then plug it back in and turn the power switch back on. Number 6. Disconnect all the external devices, including USB devices, monitors, and printers, and try turning on the computer with only the essential components connected. Problem number 9. Keyboard and mouse failure. Sometimes you feel your pointing and input devices like mouse and keyboard are not working. So there are three possible solutions for it. First one is to check if your system is hanged or not. If the system is hanged, then you need to do what I have told you earlier to solve the hanging problem. Second is to detach and reattach the mouse and keyboard. I hope this will resolve the problem. If still this doesn't work, then try to attach any other mouse or keyboard to make sure that your keyboard and mouse are working fine or not. Problem number 10. Frozen screen. Sometimes you encounter the frozen screen problem. Generally, this problem is automatically fixed by Windows 10 and later. Otherwise, you can press Ctrl Alt Delete. Temporarily resolves the problem. However, if the problem still persists, then you need to fix any hardware issues or you need to get your motherboard checked for such issues. Problem number 11. Fan noise. If you are using your computer, you hear fan noise very loud and even when you have plugged in your laptop, the fan is working at full pace. It makes so much noise that you get annoyed at your computer. Well, the solution to that problem is pretty much easier. You can open the power options from control panel and select change plan settings and then in change advanced plan settings, you need to find processor power management. In processor power management, you need to change the values from 100 to 97 or 98, whichever works for you in both plugged in and in battery module. If the fan noise is still loud, then you have to get them clean using condensed air so that the dust can be cleaned from fan and motherboard. Problem number 12. Overheating. Overheating in a laptop happens when the internal components of your machine such as processor, graphic card, or hard drive gets too hot. Think of your laptop as a small compact machine that does a lot of work. When it's running, it generates heat as a natural part of its operation. But sometimes, either because of heavy use, poor ventilation, or dust accumulation, 
the temperature inside the laptop can rise to a point where it becomes a problem. Overheating can cause your laptop to slow down, freeze or even shut down abruptly to prevent damage. It can also lead to long-term damage to the internal components if not addressed. So that's why try to stay in a cool and ventilated environment while using your laptop and use cooling pads if necessary. Problem number 13. Unable to install a software. If you buy a software and it's not getting installed in your system, it's a serious problem because you have invested the money in buying that software. There can be multiple reasons to this problem, which includes compatibility issues, minimum requirements of the system are not met, less physical memory or there are some missing files in the software. Suppose there is a software which is working fine on another computer but not being installed on your Windows. It means that you need to update your Windows or you need to complete the hardware and software requirements and provide enough storage for the software to get installed. The other possible solution is to run the executable file using the option of run as administrator. On the file, right click on it and you will see an option run as administrator below the open option. The third possible solution for this specific problem is to download the missing files again or download a new copy of the software as there is a chance that installation file is corrupted. Another step which you can do is that switch off the antivirus and then run the installation file again. I hope any of these will resolve the problem. Problem number 14. Automatic restarting of system. You encounter few automatic restarts while using the computer in middle of your task. If the operating system is freshly installed on your computer, then you don't need to worry at all as the system is installing updates in the background to make operating system up to date and free of bugs. If the system is not new, then you need to check your power supplies as sometimes fluctuation in power can make your system restart. You also need to check your power cables if any of your power cables is heating up it means your power cables are not delivering enough power and need to be replaced. If you can't resolve the problem with any of these solutions, then you need to visit the service center to get the power circuits checked. Problem number 15. Display not showing anything. If your monitor isn't showing anything upon switching on your system, you can fix this problem by following these steps. Number 1. Deattach and reattach the power cables and signal cable of your display. Number 2. Deattach and reattach the RAM of your system. Number 3. Graphic card needs to be fixed or replaced. Hopefully, any of these will resolve the problem. Problem number 16. USB port not working. When a USB port is not working, it can be frustrating because it can affect your ability to connect and use various devices. You can try to attach the device on a different port on the PC. See if the port is physically not damaged. Clean the port using a pin and cotton to make sure that the device and port are connected without any dust. Check the drivers of USB in the device manager and see if the driver is properly installed. And update the driver by clicking update on the right click menu. You also need to open the properties of the port and uncheck the option that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Also, you need to check the BIOS and see if it has enabled all the USB ports. After updating the drivers, restart your system. We hope it will work. Problem number 17. Error 0x8030024 This error occurs when you are installing Windows on your SSD. SSD is a solid state drive and it's faster than normal hard drive. To solve this problem, you need to open the case of your computer and remove the hard drive attached to your PC. Attach your SSD and install Windows. After installation, you can attach your hard drive as before. This will solve this error. Problem number 18. Microsoft Edge is not working. Sometimes you encounter this problem when you open Edge and it's not working. To fix this, in the settings of Edge browser, click Privacy, Search and Services and then select clear the browsing data. Do check the cache and hit OK. Another option is that you need to reset the settings in the settings of Edge browser. Problem number 19. YouTube videos are not playing. A lot of users face this problem. When they try to play YouTube videos on browser, 
the YouTube videos doesn't play. This can be solved by opening Internet Options from Internet Explorer. Open the Advanced tab and check this option which says Use Software Rendering instead of GPU Rendering. Problem number 20. The Print Spooler service stops unexpectedly in Windows. While working in an office, one can encounter such problem. For solution, open up Control Panel and go to Programs and Features. Click Turn Windows Feature On or Off. Under Print and Document Services, check LPD Print Service and LPR Port Monitor. This will fix the spooler problem. And that's the wrap. These were top 20 computer problems with solutions. Hopefully, if you encounter any of these issues, you know how to resolve it. If this video was any help to you, don't forget to like this video. Also, subscribe to channel to get more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.